going to be unboxing or unbagging some more parts for my trailer. So let's see what we have today. All right. I said I was going to get some budget buddy bearings, but the pictures were not as described. So I ended up getting the main brand ones. And these were a whole lot cheaper than what I thought they were going to be on Amazon. So we'll be putting these on in a little while along with some other new enhancements to this old trailer. And for those of you who do not know what buddy bearings are, buddy bearings are a replacement for your dust cap on your trailer. And this allows you to grease your hubs of your trailer without having to pull them apart and repacking them every time. I'll have a link in the description. This is a fairly common size for trailers, but you need to make sure and measure your cap to make sure that these will, these will work. And also something to, to realize is that these are also made in the USA and these are this is good stuff, especially if you have a boat trailer and you're going in and out of the water. Um, you can go, every, you know, every time you come in and out of the water, you can give it a, 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 a squirt of grease in the grease fitting and make sure that your, your bearings are packed all the time. Now, this isn't a forever thing, but, but you know, once after a season, I would still, you just take a hammer and tap the buddy bearings off like you would a, a, a dust cap and you check your bearings out to make sure your bearings are still good. As you can tell, this is what the inside of the buddy bearing looks like. It's fairly simple. All you do is you have the tapered side that goes inside of your, your hub and you have your grease fitting right here. I found mine for $27.14 for, for both of them. Um, last time I went into the parts store, I saw them and I'm pretty sure they wanted like $45 just for one, for a replacement one. So, um, you can get them a whole lot cheaper on Amazon and they come with a, they come with a dust cap and you just take the dust cap and cover it up after you've, and be, be careful because, you know, these are, these are expensive, and just be careful when you tap them on and you tap them back off. Just give them even pressure to tap them back off. But this will be a nice addition to my trailer after I uh, put, put it back together, and I'll show a short video on how to install the buddy bearing and how easy it is to use. Well, this is me taking the old cap off the hub. Hopefully I don't smash my fingers. I usually do. Not that hard, hard to do. All right, that's the old hub. Here's the buddy bearing. It should, if you blow it out, it should um go right over. If it's the right size. And you just pop it on. Try to make sure it's even when it goes on. benefit of this is you just pop on your grease fitting and fill it up with grease. It's, I already have them packed fairly well so you know, I don't have to put a lot in there. It feels a little, a little resistance. I think you keep putting grease in it until it pops out. Ah, here we go. Just clean it up. Doesn't have to be perfect. And that's it. And you can do the same on the other side. And you can pre-grease your, your, your bearings without having to take it all apart. I do like using these, these smaller three ounce grease guns because they're easier to store. They're less of a mess and you can get them into tighter places. My 
best friend who's a trucker. This is what he uses on his truck, his 18 wheeler, because he said it's easier than the big grease guns. If you never want to lose another tongue latch pin again, get one of these cheap ones like I've got right here and just tie it to your to your wiring and you'll never have to worry about anyone anyone taking it or even if you have a, a padlock you'll always have an extra one because nothing's worse than going down the highway with and not having having a pin because somebody's s stolen it or you've, you've forgotten it at home thank you everyone for watching and thank you for those who have joined and subscribed to the swamp fox family if you can give me a thumbs up, comment in the description, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, please look for the links in the description. Become a Patreon member if you want to support the channel. And remember, family and bills come first, always. See you guys next time.